Iyar, the month of Iyar, what an incredibly significant month in Jewish history this month has become. I would say that the two days that have transpired in the modern era in Iyar, Yom Ha'atzma'ut and Yom Yushalayim, are the two most significant days in Jewish history, arguably since the Hanukkah miracle. Hey Iyar, the 5th of Iyar, the day of the, of the uh, establishment of the State of Israel, the sovereign return of the Jewish people to the land of Israel, which has opened the gates of 3.2 million Ulim which have come here in the last 71 years and built this incredible society of today over 6.7 million Jews, 9 million civilians, the largest community there's ever been in the, state, in the land of Israel since time immemorial. That happened on the 5th day of Iyar, only last week, Yom Ha'atzmaut, and of course in a few weeks' time, Yom Yerushalayim, the 28th day of Iyar, the day of the reunification of Jerusalem, the return of the Jewish people as a sovereign people, also for the first time since the destruction of the Temple, certainly since Bar Kokhba, almost 2,000 years ago. Both of these in the month of Iyar. What incredible significance. And I think uh, there's an additional element to the significance. What is the, mo what is the happiest month of the year? We would think that the happiest month of the year is Adar. Mishi Nichnas Adar. Marbim Basimcha, the Gemara says, when the month of Adar comes, we increase our Simcha. But surely the month of Nisan is the happiest month of the year. And it seems clear for two reasons. This was the original deliverance after 210 years of slavery. What could be a happier month than Iyar, Chodesh Aviv, the month of spring and hope? And secondly, indeed, halachically, it's the only month that for the entire month we don't say the solemn Tachanun prayer. It's the happy month. So is it Adar or Nisan? Rashi answers the question to this on the Gemara in Masichet Tani Dav Kavtet. The Gemara there says, Mishen Ichnas Adar Marbim B'Simcha. When you come into the month of Adar, increase Simcha. Says Rashi as follows, and I quote, he says, Ki Yemei Nisim Li Yisrael Adar V'Nisan. The months of Nisan, Adar and Nisan, are months of Yeshua, of miracles and happiness. I.e., what is Rashi saying? It is not that Adar is the happiest of months. It is actually Nisan. So what it means is Mishenichnas Adar Marbim Simcha. When we begin the months of redemption, when you enter into the two-month period of the month of redemption, beginning with Purim and Adar and continuing climatically into Pesach, when you go into these months, we begin to enter Simcha, which continues till the end of the month of Nisan. We can add today for sure, it continues even into the month of Iyar. The month of Yar, these two unbelievable days of Simcha, of deliverance, of miracles, of thanksgiving, continue into the month of Yar, leading up to Shavuot. It's not by chance that these days are in Yar, while we are counting up in the Omer, redeeming this Omer period, which was not supposed to be a time of Availut, of, uh, of, of pain and suffering, which only happened at a later period, but ideally a time of counting up towards Har Sinai. And here we have another two days redeemed of happiness, of Simcha, as we t take our climb up to Shavuot. And may we appreciate these days and continue to redeem the days of, uh, of, of Iyar as days which continue the happiness of Adar and, and Nisan and bring it into the modern era of celebrating the establishment of the State of Israel and the return to Jerusalem, days that we ought not to take for granted and give thanksgiving and appreciate the incredible modern days of deliverance of our time. Shabbat Shalom.